This year, the Electronic Entertainment Expo is bigger than ever. We sent our own gaming enthusiast, the man who manhandles the Screensavers Land Party, Joshua Brentano, down uh, to uh, L.A. to check out the scene. He's already came back with. Here at E3 in Los Angeles, California, this is where gaming geeks come to play. Girl, look, there's geeks everywhere. There's one there, there's one there. I don't look like a geek on the outside, but I am on the inside, and I want to go see what games they have, so let's go. Military games are hot this year at E3, and one of the favorites is America's Army, developed with the United States Army. Why does the Army developing this game? What are they doing with it? At this game, you don't just jump into it, shooting up people right into missions. You have to begin in basic training, uh, move through specialty skills, schools, so you have to go through these training steps in this game before you can actually jump into a mission. Some of the parameters in the game, uh, you know, you're punished if you, you know, try and kill your other teammates or things like that. What do you think about the fact that none of the other branches of the military have a computer game? Uh, I have a feeling this is just a hunch that they may in the future. I don't know. So, uh, we're walking through the floor and we found Lou Ferrigno, uh, the incre original Incredible Hulk. Lou, how do you, what do you think of the show? What are you doing here today? Well, it's the first time I've ever been to a show like this. It's a lot of fun. I want my character to be involved with ah. video games. That's why I'm exploring, looking around, and I'm like a kid in Disneyland. Uh, and now, everybody has their own video game. What are you, what kind of games are you wanting to do? Well, it depends because I'm in the new Hulk movie coming out. I'm exploring. I want to see what they have the Hulk game over here. If they do have it, so I just walk in so I'm kind of new. First-person shooters here at E3 are all the rage. We're standing in front of the Half-Life 2 booth, the sequel to one of the most popular games last year. What's the popularity of these first-person shooters? Everybody has them. War, Warcraft 3 is the, has a new first-person shooter. It was never first-person before. I think that from a, from fundamentally from a game design standpoint, you could give people a degree of control, a degree of immersiveness as possible with first-person action games more than any other game design. I think it's that sense of being there, of being inside of the action that really appeals to gamers. What's the story behind this game? Well, you're Gordon Freeman again. Mm -hmm. um, some indeterminate amount of time has passed <laughs> since the first game, and you don't really know why. Some of the people from the original game are there, and they're new people, like Alex, who's the daughter of two of the scientists. She's somebody you spent a lot of time with in the game. I'm talking with Mark Downey, level designer for World of Warcraft, a new game that Blizzard will be releasing hopefully sometime soon. Tell us about the game. Obviously, it's not the normal format of, of Warcraft. No, this is a massively multiplayer online game, so there will be thousands of people at the same time running around the same world, interacting with each other and interacting with the world. So, EverQuest. Uh, uh, similar, same okay. type of game. Okay. Right. In the world, in the Warcraft universe, of course. Uh, so, when when can we expect to see this game? I'm sure I mean, Warcraft's one of the most popular games. We've got to get through a beta first. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as it took Warcraft 3. Oh. E3's over. As you can see, everybody's leaving. Evidently, geeks don't stay out past 6. I'm tired and tired and tired, and I'm going to go take a nap, I think. So, so long. Where were the girls in the bikinis? We didn't see any more of them, huh? We're holding that until oh, Monday. That'll be Monday? Monday. <laughs> It is a big show. It is uh, it, it, really too yeah. big to see everything. Way too big. We got there and running around, and we didn't even get to see. We're already shooting a bunch of stuff and haven't even looked in the other room yet. Right. Uh, we didn't get to see. We we see. We saw. Tell me about show you so Doom, Doom Three. Shooting. Doom Three. Doom Three. Does that look good? Is Looks it ready? Great. Is it going to be there? Who knows? They, That's they, the they, you know, they don't have stuff. a date. They just they yeah. say, oh, it's coming down the road. Right. Uh, Halo Two was there. Looked really cool for the uh, Xbox. For the Xbox. Sims Two. But again, they're all showing stuff that's going to be out. Who knows when? Right, yeah. right. I'm excited about the three you showed, though. Those look yeah. all very, very good. Fun. Monday, you're going to be back. What are you going to talk about? So, kind of the more unconventional side of the show. We have my pick for the wasted the most money on their booth booth. <laughs> I have the hottest chick booth and a bunch of other ones that we'll take a look it at. It really is a big party. It did is. you have to come home right afterwards, or did you get to stay a little bit longer? I got to stay a little bit longer to go to the NVIDIA party oh, that's on fun. Wednesday Was night. Was it good? It was good. They hired Smash Mouth. Really? Like, yeah. That's a big band. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah. How fun. All right, well, Josh will be back on Monday for more on his trip to E3. And, of course, go to the website. He's got an article there, too, his yeah. take about what happened at the Electronic Entertainment Expo.